Alright, hello everyone, it's Pig Puncher, and I am back with a new video to begin my exile from YouTube live streaming. So today, I want to talk about Lauren Southern and an announcement that she made on Twitter a few days ago following the release of her new documentary, Borderless. Farewell, I've enjoyed this all greatly, but it's time to start a new chapter of my life. Thank you to all my incredible colleagues who I'll be cheering on in their fight for truth and my wonderful supporters who made all I've done possible. Yes, it seems after finishing the supposed magnum opus of her career, Lauren has decided to hang her hat and basically retire, presumably to focus on starting a family, an idea that she has pushed all women to do instead of pursuing careers for many years. This means that it's safe to say that she isn't going to be making any new videos on YouTube or featuring in other alt-right creators' content either, but then again, nothing is for certain. So, to be completely honest with you, I'm glad. I'm very happy that Lauren is retiring, since to be completely honest with you, I think she's an incredibly dishonest bullshit merchant, who is in part responsible for the spread of the alt-right. Don't believe me? Let's take a look back at just a few of the shitty things she's done in her time as a public figure. We'll start with her telling women to just get married. It's one of the least egregious things she's done with her career, using misinformation to push women to avoid seeking out a professional career and instead focus on getting married, having children, and keeping a home. Yes, Lauren Southern has been a huge advocate for what she calls traditional Western values for a long time, and you'll find that this is included under that label. Now, don't get me wrong, if a woman chooses to live her life in the way that Lauren suggests she should, then I don't really have a problem with that. It is her choice after all, but Lauren's most popular video on this subject is called What Every Girl Needs to Hear, and it is absolutely riddled with misinformation, feels over reels arguments, and appeals to tradition. I can't go into detail on every problem this video had, but I will leave a link in the description to a video that Sean made as a response to her video. It's very good and I highly recommend you check it out. In the meantime, let's look at a couple other things she's done. Spreading anti-feminist hysteria. Ah yes more of those traditional Western values. This ties in pretty well with the last issue I had with her, but she has caused so much harm with this that I think it requires its own entire point. If you go to Lauren's channel and search the keyword feminism, you will find dozens of videos that make the clear effort to straw man feminism into the stereotype that has become so pervasive in society. There is no doubt that Lauren has contributed massively to the fact that when most people think of the word feminism nowadays, they see this, this, and this. That is the issue with Lauren Southern. She literally believes that stats are the plural of anecdote, that if you see something happening enough yourself, whether it be through videos or in person, that you can safely make a broad generalization about that group. Because of people like Lauren Southern, when a feminist tries to bring up the topic of toxic masculinity, the wage gap or rape culture, people have this knee-jerk reaction that makes them assume that that feminist must be like the ones they were told about. They don't even entertain the ideas put forward long enough to realize they are legitimate. They just proceed to argue against a straw man made up by anti-feminists. And finally, spreading the Great Replacement Conspiracy. Ah yes, I saved the best for last. This is undoubtedly the thing that Lauren Southern is the most well-known for. All of her most popular videos in some way root back to the idea that white people are getting replaced in the West and that this is a bad thing. I am not going to sugarcoat it. This is the same mentality of the guy who murdered a man and shot up a synagogue in San Diego, California. When you read his manifesto, you see him talk about how he is the descendant of white European, that hordes of brown people are coming to white countries to pollute his pure bloodline. This was the same sentiment found in the manifesto of the Christchurch shooter who murdered 50 innocent people in a mosque in Christchurch, New Zealand. While his manifesto was filled with pop culture references and 8chan memes, one thing he did not joke about was the fact that he believed that white culture was being erased by brown people and that he needed to do something about it. I don't think that it's a stretch to say that Lauren is responsible for the spread of this extremely harmful conspiracy theory, a concept that is literally just a rebrand of white genocide. If you don't believe me, take a look at one of the most popular videos called The Streets of Paris. This video is literally just seven minutes of Lauren walking around a famously immigrant-filled neighborhood in Paris, trying to make the viewers believe that France is being taken over by non-white invaders, and that this is clearly a bad thing. Let's take a look at part of the Christchurch Shooters Manifesto, which was literally named The Great Replacement, by the way, and compare them. I remember pulling into a shopping center car park to buy groceries in some moderate-sized town in eastern France, a roughly 15 to 25,000 people. 
As I sat down in the parking lot in my rental car, I watched a stream of the invaders walk through the shopping center's front doors. For every French man or woman, there was double the number of invaders. I had seen enough, and in anger drove out of the town, refusing to stay any longer in the cursed place and headed on to the next town. Driving toward the next French town on my itinerary, knowing that inevitably the invaders would be there too, I found my emotions swinging between fuming rage and suffocating despair at the indignity of the invasion of France, the pessimism of the French people, the loss of culture and identity, and the farce of the political solutions offered. I came upon a cemetery, one of the many mass cemeteries created to bury the French and other European soldiers lost in the wars that crippled Europe. I had seen many pictures and heard many people discuss the cemeteries, but even knowing about these cemeteries in advance, I was still not prepared for the sight. Simple white wooden crosses stretching from the fields beside the roadway, seemingly without end, into the horizon. Their number uncountable, the representation of their loss unfathomable. I pulled my rental car over and sat, staring at these crosses and contemplating how it was that, despite these men and women's sacrifice, despite their bravery, we had still fallen so far. I broke down into tears, sobbing alone in the car, staring at the crosses, at the forgotten dead. Why were we allowing these soldiers' death to be in vain? Why were we allowing the invaders to conquer us, overcome us, without a single shot fired in response? Why won't somebody do something? I will leave you all with that. It is quite clear that the ideology Lauren has spread was massively influential to these far-right terrorists. You may even say that she is partly responsible for the death of these innocent people. So, if she is leaving the internet for good, I say good riddance. Perhaps the alt-right ideology will spread a little slower without her there to feed the fire. Anyway guys, I hope you liked the prepared content I'm making for this channel. If you do, please do leave a like, I would really appreciate it, and please let me know uh, what other topics you want me to cover in the comments down below. In the meantime, leave a like, sub to the channel if you're new, and follow my Twitch and Twitter through the links in the description, and I will see you all later. Pig Puncher, out.